do it, Nate. Okay. Uh, today I'm gonna do some quick, uh, I guess MREs, really. Um, you will be able to, I guess you'll be able to cook these too, but mostly just in case you gotta eat it on the go. And, uh, I'm gonna lift up the camera now. Uh, let me see. Pretty much, I'm trying to, for me, I'm really not a big fan of the whole MRE thing, really. What it is, though, is more of like, if you're going to be, I guess, like, if you're going out hunting, the last thing you're going to want to do is if someone is shooting at you, you're not going to want to run back to your family. Because, I don't know, for those of you who are not familiar with chickens, you always, you know, you got the little run the liver there, and when the shit hits the fatty, it's the last one to get there, and that's it, everyone knows. Odds are they hurt the shot. You're not, the last thing you want to do is leave whoever or however many people over there to them. You're going to want to take off in a different direction and lure them away. You know, if you're, so, you know, if it's just your wife and your kids there, you're not going to want your, you know, your, your eight-year-old to be taking on a 30-year-old guy with an AK-47 or some shit. You know, you're going to want to try and lure that away and handle that. Now, if you got a whole group of people, that's fine. That's something else. But, let's just get to this. Like I said, I'm not really a big fan, but this will be something, you know, if you're going to take on, you know, if you're going hunting, you just have a backpack, you can take a few of these. Uh, pretty much a bottle of water, I'm sure you already know why on that one. Uh, you know, you know you're going to need that. You can probably use it to cook, but it's probably best if you find some actual, like a natural source of water. Canned salmon, because, or not canned, um, packaged salmon. Salmon has, has a good amount of protein and all that. It's... It doesn't really smell the best from what I can tell. I mean, I have the can anyway, I don't know about this one. But there is a lot of protein in that. Beef jerky, just because, hey, you know, I mean, you know, it, it has the same, same, same thing, the kind of type of protein that, you know, fish really doesn't have. I don't exactly know the whole scientific thing behind it, but still, it's just good to have it. I mean, that's because I don't know exactly how much protein a, a jerked up hand, or a jerked up meat would really have. The peanuts are really good for, you know, protein, that, similar protein that meat actually has. It's small, lightweight, it's really cheap. I mean, I've seen cheap where I got this one just on a rush. And some ramen, because, I mean, you don't have to cook it. You can eat it like this, like it's a cookie. I mean, it's best, it, it tastes better, obviously, if you do cook it, but you, it's possible to do it. Um, and let's see. Some jello. If you're out in the cold, if you're out for a long time, you can get your water best again if you find some natural source of water and you can just drink some of this down. It's really cheap. It gives you a lot of calories, so in the winter it'll really help out especially. And just wine punch packets, some flavor packets, guava, because, you know, it just, it makes you feel more human drinking flavored, something flavored, you know. And, uh, some little fruit snacks, because, hey, you know, it's, Again, we all need something like that, you know. That it's, it has a good amount of vitamin C, which you're going to need. Because believe it or not, you can't get scurvy. You don't got to be a pirate or nothing like that to, to get that. Uh, Some hand sanitizing wipes, just for hygiene. And I'm going to get back to as wise as these two in just a little bit. Because, well, and here, some napkins, I'd say, I put like 10 in mine. Because, let's be honest, uh, sometime after you eat, once it goes in, it's going to come out, you know, so you're going to want some hand wipes to sanitize. Uh, there's not going to be soap, you know, some a bar of soap in a faucet anywhere. And, if you can, buy one of these real cheap, or just some extra needles. You can, they sell packs of needles, and they like, sell packs of little, or the little spoodles. You can throw that in there. Just throw one of these in there, and put the... Well, I, didn't get, I, I had a patch of matches, I don't know where I put them. Anyway, a pack of matches, you throw the needle inside the matches, and you have one of these inside your little MRE. Because, for those of you, I'm sure, well, I'm sure most of you remember the whole Revolutionary War, when our forefathers are there having to sew their clothes, you know, like after a battle or whatever, from March, when they were marching and everything. So it's just good. You don't want torn clothes in the winter, you don't want torn clothes. You really just don't want torn clothes. You never know what's going to get inside your clothes. It's best to at least have as few holes as possible. And this is pretty much what it's going to look like afterwards. You're going to need... You're going to want to tape the tape everything together and make it closer. And pull these out. Um, as you can see, I just taped all this to the water. 
I even have this on me. I took this one from uh, Taco Bell. It's a spork. And if you can cook the ramen, you can, you know, it's, I mean, it's a free spork. They're going to look at you kind of weird while you're taking a handful of sporks, but who gives a shit? <laughs> and here we go. Ah, yes. So I forgot this. These. Just because you're going to want hygiene. I mean, you know, you never know how long you're going to be gone, you know, having to, you know, just hide out. That's thing you don't want. You know, is you you're just gonna want to try and keep from getting gum disease and so on, you know, if, if possible. I mean, you know, which is again also makes you feel a little more human. You can see salmon, the jerky. I don't know what the hell that was my spoodle. Uh, the jerky's in between. I got the ramen. Here's the salmon. The toothbrushes. I got the Jello. The matches are actually inside there if you can kind of see them. And then I got the. I got the Roach's little fruit snacks and the peanuts. Just throw it in, you get as much air as you can. You know, like, you know, you just squeeze as much air as you possibly can out. You seal it, and then you just tape it. And before I forget, I gotta really remember to actually want to make a script and rehearse this. Is you get some freezer bags just because, you get the hefty freezer bags. One hefty just because I would assume, I'm pretty sure they're naturally more hefty than the regular bags. Freezer bags are also a little thicker. It'll help preserve your food and all that. And especially, again, like I said, if it's winter, it's going to help out. It's, you know, I mean, for those of you like, well, in case you're thinking, well, you know, I mean, you, you might have a backpack or something. You know, you got your food at your camp or whatever. Yeah. But the whole thing, the whole part of prepping is, I would say it's kind of like investing in silver. Or in metals, the best time to start is always, or is always, the best time to stop is never. So if you're like again, if you're out hunting, you're gonna want to prep in case something you run into something you may not be able to handle. You say you're not gonna want to lure them back to your wife and kids, or if you're a single mom, you're not gonna want to lure you know a group of guys to your kids. You know you're just not gonna want to do it. I mean, if you can handle it, great. But the odds are you're gonna want to try and take down as many as you can. And, and lose and lose them as soon as possible. Then get back. It's I mean it's not foolproof. It's probably not even well thought out. But again, like I said, if you're gonna run into some stuff, you're not gonna know what to do. What to do? And you don't want to. Like I said, you don't want to be like that chicken that runs back to the crowd of people, especially you know your wife or your kids or just your kids. Uh, let's see. I mean. If you can, I would say y'all yeah, put rice, but I mean, I have a bug out bag where I got instant rice. But again, that's more like something else. That's more of I'm moving with a group of people. This is more if you're on your own and you got no other choice. Um, I think right now, I guess I'm really just rambling, so I guess I'm just going to kill it.